chasing someone that's very dangerous. New information tonight on the chase this afternoon on I-480 that ended with police opening fire and killing a 31-year-old man. And tonight we have confirmed that man was Michael Brennan of Lakewood. We've also looked into information on his background. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, News Channel 5's Homa Bash live in Parma Heights where it all began. So Homa, what do we know right now? Well, guys, it started right here with an armed robbery, and it ended with a police chase. A suspect shot dead, and a highway shut down for hours. And tonight, still plenty of questions about exactly how many officers were involved and whether or not that suspect's gun was real. It started around 1 o'clock at this Papa John's on Pearl Road in Parma Heights. A spokesman tells me a man came inside the store, got behind the counter, and tried to open the register. He showed off a gun, and moments later, the manager opened the register for him. And the robber got away in a white truck with $89 in cash. Certainly in fear, but they were not injured. From there, police say the 31-year-old man from Lakewood led officers from three different departments on a high-speed chase through city streets, and eventually onto 480 eastbound from Tiedemann Road. And at that time, he crashed into the median. He was fumbling around the vehicle for a short time and then exited the vehicle brandishing the firearm. And that's when six officers, four from Parma Heights, one from Parma, and one from Brooklyn, all pulled the trigger on their guns. Each one felt threatened, of course, by it and fired their their weapon. One of the reasons so many agencies responded so quickly might be because this is day two of Parma's regional dispatch center. That's where dispatchers for Parma, Parma Heights, and Brooklyn all now sit under one roof. When you have an incident like this, a violent type of crime being committed, dispatchers get the information out to the bordering cities a lot quicker than they would have been able to in the past. The investigation shut down 480 eastbound for several hours as witnesses describe hearing those rapid fire gunshots. Eight to ten shots from probably two different pistols in a three second burst. Now, police source tells us that that gun the suspect had was a replica, but authorities say they won't confirm that until tests are complete. And while Cleveland police are investigating the deadly use of force because it happened within city limits, no CPD officers were told were on scene when that shooting happened. We're also told none of the officers from Parma, Parma Heights, and Brooklyn have body cams. You know this investigation will be ongoing for quite some time. We'll keep you updated. Live in Parma Heights, Homa Bash, News Channel 5. All right, Homa, now more on the man who was shot by police. We have confirmed tonight he was 31 years old. His name, Michael Brennan. We did a background check on Brennan and found almost nothing. He has no major arrests or convictions, nothing more than two speeding tickets and a few other traffic violations and at least one open container violation. 